Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Eddie, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your sharper golf hitting net. Whether you got this net on its own, or you got it as part of the driving range in a box net, or maybe you're just considering looking at it, you want to see how difficult it is to put together. Today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. Now as you guys can see, today I'm going to be putting this together inside my garage, but this net can be used indoors or outdoors. So if you're working on an indoor driving range, you know, set up in your garage during the winter months like I am, this works for that. Or if you're in a warmer climate or it's the summertime you want to set it up outside, you can do that as well. Inside the Sharper Golf Hitting Net package are four stakes. These are able to be used outside in the grass to keep your net in place, but I'm in a garage. Doesn't work in here. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to assemble in a standard garage. I've got 10 foot ceiling, so I've got plenty of room to swing a club in here. I just need something to hit into. Let me show you guys how it works. So before you get started putting your net together, you want to make sure that you have all your pieces. Inside your packaging for your net, you should have two base pieces. You should have one center connecting pole. This is going to connect the two bases together. You should have two bases and these are going to go on each end of the base connect. Two middle connector poles. These are going to go inside the base pieces. And there's an important reason for these to be not connected and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Two long end pieces. Now these pieces right here, you're going to see have a little bit of a hook on there. This piece right here is intended to be able to have the net hang over the top and I'll show you guys how that works. Now that you've gotten all your pieces out, you've got all your different connections, you made sure that you're not missing anything. Again, I left the stakes out because I'm doing this in the garage. You're going to want to get the installation or the setup of your net started. All right, step one, you're going to take your two corner pieces and you're going to want to set these up on the ground. Now the setup of these is really easy. You're going to notice that there is a little bit of a button right here. You're going to push that button in and when you push it in, you're going to notice that it opens up, comes right over to the side. There's two holes on there. You've got a hole here when it starts and a hole here to connect into. This keeps your base in place. You're going to do that to both pieces. Now I'm putting the pieces down, it's important to note this end right here. This end is where the net's going to connect. The other end of it does not have that. It actually has a little hole right here for the center piece. You're going to make sure that these pieces are facing each other in the middle and that the net connection is facing to where the net's going to connect to. Step two, you're going to take your middle bar and it has two little prongs on there. You got one button there, one button here. You're going to connect the two bases together. After you have your base connected, and again, it's important to make sure that you have your prongs turned to the front where the net's going to connect. Also, if you don't have it in the right way, the middle connector piece for the bar is not going to be able to connect. It's pretty easy to figure out. You'll see it very quickly. So pay attention to that at the beginning. Next step, you're going to take your two base connector bars. These are pretty easy to determine which ones they are because you'll see right there, they're beveled a little bit or, you know, indented in a little bit. The reason for that is because this piece right here is going to go right in to the base of the net. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take these two connector pieces and you're going to slide that right into the two ends. Now you wonder, why aren't these all connected into one big piece? Well, the reasoning for that is coming up in a minute, but the net is going to slide over these ends. So if it was one big piece, it'd be a lot harder to slide that over. This makes it easier for you guys to take the net down, put it back up and be able to slide the sharper golf little holders on there right on the end. That way the net stays together as one tight piece. All right, we're almost done. We only have two steps left to go in the net. Now you've seen, we've set up the frame. We connected the exterior part of the net walls. Only two steps left to go. Step one, connect to the top of the frame. Step two, connect to the bottom of the frame. And that's it. So let's finish up. Let's get the net ready to go so that way we can start hitting balls and start sharpening up our game. Now 
That's it guys, you saw how we did it. We set up the net. It was easy to go, pretty easy. There's about eight or nine steps or so. We went through it nice and slow, showed you guys how to do it. Once you guys set it up the first time, it should take about five minutes or less to set the net up, take it down, whatever you need to do. So whether you plan on leaving it in your garage all summer, all winter, all year, whatever it is you wanna do, wherever you live, whatever it is your plans are for the net, it's easy to do it. The Sharper Golf 10x7 hitting net is available in the driving range in a box package that is available at sharpergolf.com as well as amazon.com. Just type in Sharper Golf driving range in a box. The net is included in there. It also comes with a hitting mat, ball tray, ball picker up, or a whole bunch of goodies. Hopefully you guys learned a little something with the Sharper Golf hitting net setup. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Until next time, guys, keep grinding.